Uthman says his, in his question, if all is predestined, why do anything? Very short question that requires a lecture. Predestiny is one of the six pillars of Iman, of faith, that no Muslim can be a Muslim without believing in them. So the last sixth pillar of it all is to believe in predestiny, to believe in what Allah had ordained, whether it is good or other than that. Now, people are usually confused. So they ask, is everything written down of our future? Yes. My spouse? Yes. My children? My provision? Whatever is going to happen to me until I die? The answer is yes. The Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, when Allah, the Almighty, created the pen, he ordered the pen to write. And the pen asked, what should I write, O Lord? And Allah said, write the destiny of all of my creation till the day of judgment. The Prophet tells us, alayhi salam, this was 50,000 years before Allah created the creation. So this was before creating the universe as we know it. 50,000 years before. Everything is done and over with. So now the confusion lies. If Allah has predestined everything is going to happen in my life, so why do anything? So do you mean to tell me if I hold a pen and I decide to let it go? It's written in my book. It's written in the preserved preserved tablet in the Lawh al-Mahfud? said, yes. So if I drop it, it's written. He said, yes. If I decide not to drop it, it's also written. So whether you do or not do, everything is written. So I've dropped it. It's written. 50,000 years before Allah created the creation, it was written that on this specific day, at that specific moment, I will drop the pen. So Uthman is asking, then why should we do what we do? Well, usually people think of the consequence, of the result. And they say, okay, I'm sick. Is it written that I will be cured? I said, yes. If not, is it written that I'm going to die? I said, yes. Then they ask, then why take the medication? Why have the doctor operate on me? Why don't I just leave it? Akhi, you're confusing the result and you're confusing the means that would lead to this result. Meaning, is it written that I will die of starvation? Maybe, I don't know. But let's assume it is written, though we don't know. If I do not prepare food, if I do not eat, if I go on a hunger strike, this is also written. So whatever you do uh, in regards to the means, this is written, and the result and the consequence is also written. So why only focus on the end result? Why do you always complain? I'm unable to find a job. Allah predestined upon me that I do not get a job. How do you know what Allah predestined that for you? He said, I, I'm not getting any job. He said, yes, because you're not working hard. You have to knock on all doors until Allah wills it and opens the door for you. Then you will find the job you want. Likewise, someone sitting home and says, if Allah wills it, I'll get a, a righteous, pious child. He said, yes, but you have to get married first. He said, nope, if Allah wills it, it will happen. This is not how it works. This is not how Allah told us to do. He told us to act and then Allah Azza wa wills what happens. Likewise in dua, my child is sick. Make dua for your child. He said, why should I make dua? Why should I make ruqya? If Allah predestined it, 
he will be cured. I said, yes, but your dua is part of the process of getting your child cured. And Allah ordered you to make dua. And if you refuse to make dua, Allah is, anger, is angry with you. Allah will be angered with you. And this shows the arrogance in you and refusing to humiliate yourself in front of Allah Azza wa and, so, and show your need and poverty for him. Besides, Allah Azza wa is the owner, the sovereign owner of everything in this world. He demands that we show our submissiveness and our poverty to him through asking him because we do not know what lies in the future for us. So we have to do our due diligence. We have to exert all efforts possible to reach where we want to reach. And if it happens, Alhamdulillah, happened with the grace of Allah. If it didn't, Alhamdulillah, Allah willed something else. And that something is better for us. And Allah knows best.